Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can create a workbook that has a summary sheet and several individual worksheets and the summary sheet will take those worksheets and either add them up together or average them or count however you want to perform that operation and that you can insert additional worksheets, delete worksheets, etc and the summary worksheet will automatically adjust based on whatever formula you want to use. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's what we have set up here. I have a summary worksheet, a first and a last worksheet which are just blank, and then I have three individual ones, Tulsa, Denver, and Chicago, and then I've also included a template worksheet. And what I want to do here is on the summary worksheet, I want to add together any worksheet that's between the first and last worksheet. So in this case, Tulsa, Denver, and Chicago. I want to go ahead and on the summary worksheet, add those up. I could average them. I could do a count, etc. But we're going to use the sum function. So the formula I'm going to insert here is equals sum. And then I'm going to put the name of the first worksheet, colon, the name of the last worksheet, then an exclamation point to indicate that those are the worksheet names, and then the cell B2, close my parentheses and hit enter, and you see I get 25,200. I'm going to copy those across and copy those down. And just to double check, since it's the simplest one to figure, I'm going to use Q4 for product 1, 9,000. If we take a look at that, Tulsa has 4,200, Denver 2,400, so that's 6,600, Chicago 2,400, so that makes it 9,000. So on my summary worksheet, by entering the formula sum, the name of the first worksheet and the last worksheet that we want to have everything between those include, and then the cell reference, it's going to add everything on cell E2 for any worksheet starting with the first and ending with the last. But since the first worksheet and last worksheet are blank, it just gives me the sum of anything in between there. Now, I've created a template here so that if I want to, say, add another location and put in information, it will automatically update it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on Template. I'm going to say Move or Copy, Create a Copy in this workbook, and I'm going to put it before the last worksheet. I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to call this uh, Detroit and I'm going to go ahead and put my formula. I'm just going to create some random numbers. I'm going to put equals roundup and I'm going to put ran between between a thousand and ten thousand and comma uh, minus two for the rounding. I'll do a control enter and I'll just convert those to values instead of formulas. Now, if you remember, on my summary worksheet for Q4 product one, it was 9,000. So now this should change that to 16,4. So if I go to my summary worksheet, 16,4. So it automatically added the data from the worksheet that I just put in between the first worksheet and last worksheet. And again, if I remove one, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that Detroit one that we just added. I'll say delete, I'll say OK, and if I go to my summary, you can see it's back to 9,000. So again, the formula just include a first worksheet and a last, which are just blank, and everything you put in between those two will automatically be included in your sum function if you have first, colon, last, exclamation point, and that cell reference. And that's how easy that is to do in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. 
I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.